I have scoured the earth trying to figure out what the heck is going on with my phone. Hello everyone, how's it going? So these banana plants that are growing right behind me have been growing in our yard for years now and they haven't really made any bananas. But I just saw a big patch, big bundle of bananas just start growing, but they're not ripe yet so we're gonna leave them there hopefully in a few months or sometime in the future they'll be ripe. But we're gonna go check out the coconut trees, see if we can get a coconut because we're looking for snacks. Okay, so most coconut trees you can actually climb without a ladder if you just know how to and normally I can But for some reason today this coconut tree is very slippery So I think I'm gonna have to use the ladder to help me out, but that's okay. I gave it my best shot without the ladder So I managed to get four coconuts down, one for myself, mom, dad, sister. Can't just get one for myself, but I'm gonna try to get one of these coconuts open. Not gonna try, I'm going to. So I could get some energy. You know, if you have like a machete, you could just like chop off like, a, like almost like a lid. But what I find to work really good is just kind of pop out this section, which is where the coconut attaches to the palm tree. You can just like bash the coconut against a rock, but then you end up with like this big crack. And if you don't have a knife or something, that'll definitely work. But if, if you have a knife, it does make it easier. Whoa, see that? It's like pressurized. So if you had a cork, you could probably place a cork here to save the coconut for later. Actually, I've never seen anyone do that. Here we go. Tastes really good. Definitely don't open coconuts with your most favorite shirt because it will get wrecked. This is my least nicest shirt, so definitely gonna wear this when I'm doing this. These ones are a little bit younger than ideal, but the problem is, is if I leave these, the squirrels go and rip these apart. So I noticed while I was up in that tree, there were a few coconuts that had just holes teared through them from the squirrels. So Got to get my fair share of the coconuts. Of course, the squirrels can have a few, but they can't have all of them. Got to share. Okay, one coconut down. That was so filling. There, there must have been like at least a liter or two of coconut water in this one coconut. Whew, that's filling. That's delicious. Mm. There's a tortilla, guys.
<laughs> oh my gosh, is it gonna take the entire tortilla? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you guys see that? That bird just came and took an entire tortilla in a matter of seconds. How's it going? Well, today has been a very eventful day so far. Woke up and tried getting some bananas from one of the banana trees in my backyard, but the bananas weren't quite ripe. Then moved on to the coconut tree. Managed to get a coconut and get a nice little supercharge for the day. After that, storm rolled in, wasn't able to get out. But, you know, sometimes I I've seen that puddle show up there quite a few times. A lot of the time when it rains, the water kind of just like collects at the bottom of the yard. And normally I'm like, ah, that looks like it might be fun to run through, but I don't want to go get muddy and then I have to take a shower and oh, what a pain. But today, I just like saw it and it was almost like it was calling my name. It was almost like, atua, atua. And I, I, just, I just had to go for it. So I set up the camera and just full speed, running straight for the puddle, had a super good time and after, once I showered off, I was like, that was totally worth it. That was so much fun. And what was funny is when I went down to the puddle, I wanted to take some of the dogs, but then I was like, mm, I probably shouldn't get the dogs all muddy because then, you know, then I have to give them a bath and I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting them all muddy. So then I went running down there on my own and then one of my dogs, Hana, she saw me and she was waiting up in, in the house under the roofing, just like watching me. And then it was really funny because I went and hid in the bushes and I was just hiding into the bushes to just like jump out and like, I don't know, just for fun. And then right when I climbed into the bushes, she came running down from the house, just super happy, super excited. And then I, she was running around with me a little bit Then she went back up to the house. And then I went and got some peanut butter and then she ended up running back around, had a super good time. And that, that was very fun. I was actually pretty exhausted after that because I, you just get this adrenaline rush when you're doing that you just like super fun and then you just like don't realize that you're getting exhausted and you're super tired and you should take a break you're just like Aah! just cold full-on maniac mode anyways did that and then we have these this family of birds that live in that, that live in the neighborhood but nearly every morning they stop by to pick up some food or some snacks and I used to think they were blue jays, but I found out that they are white-throated magpie jays, which is, I guess, the correct term for that type of bird. But they come every day. And today they came, and I had just been eating a burrito, and I, so I was thinking about tortillas. And normally we feed them maybe a little piece of fruit or something, but I was like, hmm, I wonder what they would do with a tortilla. So I sneakily, grabbed a tortilla from the kitchen and took it over to them and I put it there and then the bird swooped in, took off with it, but I wanted to film it. So I put the tortilla, I go to get my camera and by the time I get my camera, the bird is already flying mid-flight away with the tortilla. And I'm like, no, I just missed this awesome shot. So sneakily again, went and got another tortilla, put another tortilla, but this time I was filming when I put the tortilla. I put the tortilla, boom, bird swoops in, takes, the tortilla and cinematic, no, not it wasn't cinematic, but just like does a crazy exit with the tortilla in its mouth. It was so funny looking. Flew up into the tree, ended up snacking on that entire tortilla. So, so far today has been very funny, but it's really overcast, really cloudy, which doesn't make for some nice lighting because the lighting's really even, but it does make it almost more like a, a gloomy, not such of a nice day, but you just gotta, roll with it. It's not always going to be a nice day every day. So 
as I'm sure many of you guys know, recently iOS 11 just came out for Apple, for iPhones and stuff. And I usually do the updates because it's supposed to maybe bring more features or improve, fix any little bugs and stuff. So I just always do the updates because it's kind of like what you're supposed to do. And this phone I use a lot. I use it for keeping up on all my social medias mostly. But then I also use the camera and the flashlight. Those are the three things that I use the most of. I don't use a lot of the other little knick-knackety doodle app doodle kook watches. But I did the update because it was supposed to make my phone better. But right after I did the update, the camera, the main camera, which is better than the selfie camera, and the flashlight stopped working for no reason. And if I kn had known this was going to happen, I definitely wouldn't have updated my phone. But if any of you guys know what could be the problem or why this is going on, please let me know because it's quite a bummer because a lot of the times I want to like get a picture of something but my cameras maybe filming a time lapse or something and I just want to take a quick picture to post on social media and I turn on my phone I'm like okay here it goes oh yeah the camera's not working and then I have to like t I have to use the selfie camera so it's almost like I'm taking pictures of like something so I'm like is it framed right okay did it work okay and this camera doesn't shoot as good quality as the main camera, so it's kind of a, a bummer. Now, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of annoying when you do something that's supposed to make your device better, and it actually makes it worse by taking stuff away that worked in the first place. So, you know, phone still works, but if you guys know how I could potentially fix it, please hit me up in the comments. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, so you see this plant? right behind me. It's kind of hard to see. It's known as a holoconia, but something interesting that I've noticed about these flowers is after a rain or after just early in the morning, sometimes there will be some water collected in each little, almost like, it's like a little cup. It almost looks like a beak from a bird, but I've noticed certain insects will come and get water from this plant. So let's see if it has any water this time. So do you see? Ugh. These plants, if you just tip them over a little bit, some water will come out of the little flower sometimes, depending on how much rain there has been lately. But yeah, if you're out surviving, can't find a river or anything, you might be able to find, if you're able to find one of these, you may be able to collect a little bit of water. Of course, these don't grow everywhere, but if you are somewhere where they do grow, you never know. Is it gonna make it? Oh, flower's gonna come out the other end. Ah, ah. Oh, here it comes. Ha ha, where'd it go? There's the flower. Made it all the way to the big pond. Yeah, that was fun. I see a bunch of branches moving around up in that tree. I wonder what it might be some, some monkeys. And there they are. So there's one of the monkeys, and there's probably a few more hanging out around the tree. But these look like howler monkeys. They usually travel in a pack. Once in a while you'll see the lonely monkey, but 99% of the time there's going to be a couple of them together. A little family. So this flower right here is known as the violet flower. Pretty self-explanatory, probably by the color. But, you see how this flower has like a bit of a cup right there? I have seen these flowers collect water and be kind of just like lying there in the plants and then you can pick them up and you can find a little bit of water. Now obviously, best to find a running water source if you're going to be drinking it or using it to clean something, but if you can't find a running water source, you could collect a little bit from this. Might be good to know. And another find, these little flowers right here. Now these, they're almost like flowers, but they're kind of like little berries or they look like 
some type of plant that is just starting to grow because they're so tiny. Now, these, in fact, are so tiny, they're easy to miss. So that's how tiny they are. And we've kind of found the monkeys, but they're taking off already. And there they are, climbing, making their way through the trees. It's crazy how monkeys have zero fear of heights. They will climb the tallest trees and the thinnest branches way at the tippy top of a hundred foot tree and they don't seem to have any fear. But I guess if you grow up up in a tree, you feel comfortable. It's like us. If fish were to come down, up, come over here on the ground, they don't feel comfortable. But I guess it's like the same thing for a monkey. They're comfortable up in a tree, but when they come down here on the ground, they're not as comfortable because they have to watch out for animals They want to chase after them and stuff. Same goes for a fish. They're comfortable underwater. Also, they can breathe. That makes a big difference. But, no, wait, I actually feel comfortable underwater, so that doesn't make sense to say that. I found myself a stone. It's like a diamond. Arrowhead. Nah, who knows. Real quick, I'd like to give a thank you to my newest Patreon supporters, Paul Satello. Paul, thank you very much for the support. Very awesome of you. PR Huell, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it very much. And Thomas McGuffin. Thomas, very kind of you to support me. So thank you very much. And I'd like to thank Caitlin for sending in today's positive quote. And that, the quote is, comparison is the thief of all happiness. What this quote means to me is that if you compare yourself to someone else, maybe whether it's physical items or just the position, the place that they're in or what they're doing at the moment in time that you're seeing it, whether it's like a video or something, it's easy to get bummed out. I noticed videos that are really easy at making you almost feel down about like what you're doing at the moment is those compilation videos that show a bunch of people doing all these crazy things. And when you watch those videos, you gotta remember, they're showing just that the one part whether it's like jumping off a crazy cliff or doing a crazy flip off some motorcycle you're watching that one little segment you got to remember there's all that time in between or after or the the times that they tried it and maybe it didn't work out perfectly as planned so you got to keep that in mind before you just compare like all these crazy sport things comparing it to what you're doing because a lot of the times if you were there watching you you would you would see that there's a lot of other stuff going on than just that one segment that ends up in the video. So keep that in mind before you compare, compare stuff, compare things to yourself. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff and I'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. Bang! Oh yes, and still having the problem with my phone, the camera, I cannot get the camera to work. I have scoured the earth trying to figure out what the heck is going on with my phone. It's so irritating, the phone not working. I'm gonna keep searching the web, trying to find a solution, but if any of you guys know what could potentially fix this problem, please hit me up in the comments. Be very much appreciated. Okay.